Today we are discussing a major developing story that has created shockwaves across the defense and aerospace community. Pakistan's flagship fighter jet program, the JF-17 Thunder, is facing a serious challenge, with production reportedly coming to a standstill in 2025. For a project that Pakistan has always showcased as proof of self-reliance in defense manufacturing, this situation raises big questions about the future of the JF-17 and the strategic capabilities of the Pakistan Air Force. The JF-17 Thunder, jointly developed by Pakistan Aeronautical Complex Comra and China's Chengdu Aerospace Corporation, was intended to serve as an affordable multi-role fighter replacing aging Mirage 3. F-7, an A-5 aircraft. Since its first induction in 2010, more than 150 JF-17S have been delivered to the Pakistan Air Force, and the aircraft has been marketed extensively to developing nations as a budget alternative to Western fighters. The program typically maintains a steady annual output, with PAC Comra rolling out multiple units each year depending on PAF requirements and export deals. Pakistan has highlighted the jet as evidence of its growing aerospace ecosystem and its ability to compete internationally against platforms like India's Tejas or Korea's FA-50. However, for the first time since mass production began, PAK has not produced a single aircraft in 2025. Marking almost a full year without any rollouts. Defense analysts note that there has never been such a prolonged production halt in the program's history. The complete absence of the traditional rollout ceremony, a public event Pakistan usually celebrates, strongly suggests that the production line has been forced to stop. This situation has triggered renewed scrutiny of the JF-17 supply chain, which has always been dependent on foreign-sourced critical components, despite Pakistan's claims of indigenous capability. One of the biggest challenges appears to be the shortage of our D-93 turbofan engines, which power all variants of the JF-17. The RD-93, a modified version of the RD-33 used in Russia's MiG-29, is supplied exclusively through Russian channels. Sources suggest that Russia may have paused or slowed deliveries, likely due to geopolitical reasons, including the ongoing Ukraine conflict, sanctions pressure, and its own defense industry priorities. With Russia currently focusing heavily on domestic aircraft production and exports to key allies, Pakistan may no longer be a priority customer. Additionally, China does not yet have a certified replacement engine. The Chinese WS-13 Taishan, which has been in development for years, has faced persistent reliability, overheating, and performance issues and is still not certified for frontline use, adding weight to the speculation. Pakistan recently supplied JF-17 fighters to Azerbaijan, a deal widely celebrated as an export success. However, insiders reveal that these aircraft were taken directly from existing Pakistan Air Force operational inventory, instead of newly manufactured jets. Even the engines used were reportedly relocated from PAF's own stock rather than fresh units. This indicates that PAC likely did not have new aircraft available for delivery, reinforcing claims that the production line has stalled. For a country that relies on defense exports to support its economy, this situation is seen as deeply concerning. Even before the production halt, the JF-17 had faced criticism regarding structural durability, engine smoke trails, limited payload range, and poor performance against modern electronic warfare systems. During the 2019 Balakot conflict, the aircraft reportedly faced challenges against the Indian Air Force's Rafale and upgraded Su-30 MKI fleet. Some reports have also pointed to cracking issues in the airframe due to high-stress flight operations, requiring additional maintenance time and reducing availability. With the latest Block 3 variant still struggling to prove maturity, the production freeze has further damaged the jet's credibility. Pakistan has long marketed the JF-17 as a backbone fighter and a symbol of independence from Western suppliers. But the current halt exposes the reality that the program is still heavily dependent on both Russian and Chinese technology, leaving the aircraft vulnerable to international politics and supply chain disruptions. With global tensions rising and defense supply chains shifting rapidly, Pakistan now faces the risk of being unable to sustain its fighter fleet modernization. If engine supplies do not resume soon, PAK could face the most serious production failure in its history. At the moment, neither the Pakistan Air Force nor PAC Comra has commented publicly on the status of the production line. 
their silence has only fueled speculation, and defense experts believe the program may be entering its toughest phase yet. The future of the JF-17 now depends heavily on whether Russia decides to restart engine deliveries or whether China can finally field a reliable domestic replacement. Until then, the backbone of Pakistan's air defense capability remains under threat, potentially altering the regional balance of power. Thank you for watching. If you found this analysis insightful, please like, share, and subscribe for more defense and aerospace updates.